So DILR is the section which is the most unpredictable section amongst all the section which can make or break your CAT score. The five tips which I would like to give that is first apply 438 rule that is give four minutes to scan all the sets of DILR then give three minutes to a set and if you think that you can solve that then go through it otherwise skip it. Overcome your fear. Have a clear frame of mind. Don't believe that it is too difficult for you to crack it. In a question, if there are 10 people and there are 5 people starting with the name S and starting with 5 with V and there are females and males, it gets very confusing. So you should have a mental legend. By mental legend, I mean you should have a specific icon or a symbol that you can denote to each of this so that it gets quick for you to solve the question and also not get confused. Third tip would be to, to focus more on accuracy rather than solving more questions. Because even if you will solve two sets accurately, you will definitely get 96-97 percentile plus. I will suggest you to solve previous year papers and mocks so that you can get an actual feel of the exam and identify your weakness and strengths. And the last and most important tip of mine would be to improve your speed. Because DILR is all about speed. Because you'll have four sets and 40 minutes of time, you should be very quick. So you should start with deciding which sets you want to do, which you're familiar with and in which order you want to solve the sets. Suppose you are stuck with a set, don't waste a lot of time. Just move ahead with the set you have decided to uh, solve further so that you don't waste your time in one particular set because you can always come back and solve the set. So the fourth tip would be, suppose you are left with 5 minutes, then it's impossible to solve a full set. So what happens in CAT is sometimes there are questions which can be easily solved within a minute or so. So try to, uh, try to read that questions and then go to the DIs. And finally, be consistent. Practice as many questions as possible so that it can improve upon your speed and accuracy. That's all from our side. All the best for your CAT exam. Hope to see you here soon. So the last tip is to go with an open mindset because we don't know what set or what preparation we had done will help us. So go with an open mindset. Be calm, be relaxed and all the best. I know you will do great. Thank you.